What's that guy's name, Cam? Dale Bridsby? Dale Bridsby. Cam's hero, Dale Brisby, might be coming to the shed soon. We're making our way out to the shed to do some shoulders. You ready, brother? Oh, I'm ready. Ah, fuck. The heat broke. Look at there's that bar. We've got a new Texas power bar that we're about to fucking open. That's 38, that's not bad. Well, we got ourselves a new power bar to bench with. I got myself a new haircut inspired by the Road Warrior Hawk. Kim, uh, where's that knife at? You got a knife? Yeah. It's on the other end of your... This thing's heavy, man. What do you think this weighs? Probably 45, 55 pounds. What's that? Is that wood on the other end? Yeah. What the fuck are you supposed to open this thing? Tear it where it's already torn. Right there, it's already torn. You know, I... It didn't come with, like, a how-to thing, you know what I mean? No. Just twist it. Twist what? Like, keep twisting. That's right, you did <laughs> <All right, so. laughs> How's that haircut look? I mean, be honest. Do I look like Road Warrior Hawk? I did it myself without even looking in a mirror. So I can't be that good. You're taking a knife. I'm getting, I'm getting scared. Okay, I think I just looked better. <laughs> Is it open now? Give me that lighter. Go on, yeah. We almost got it out of the bar. Oh, look at this fucker, man. Touch this. Touch it. Look at that fucker. That's good. What a beautiful bar. You know how much weight is gonna be on this bar? Some of the best bench presses of all time is gonna be on this fucking bar. Shit, I got pee stains on my sweats from last night. <laughs> Get that camera out of my face! I was drunk! Oh, this thing is heavy, man. I wonder what it is. Does it weigh 45 pounds? It might be 55, I don't know. Some of them are 55. Okay, I'm too tired to take the rest out. Well, we'll be using this here in about a minute. Okay, bye. Everything's getting recorded here, Cam. Say hello to the internet, Cam. Cam does not believe in the internet, but now you're on it. I like how girls say that stuff. Cam knows women. I'm sure it's hot with her blue. This is slick, man. This floor. It's all iced up. We have a new Texas bar! One, two, a tree! I got it? Oh, you got I, it. I thought you were grabbing You got it. You were trying. Ooh, that feels good. That feels good. Look at those hands. I told my old man that story. On that. <laughs> uh, he, he told me, he goes, you're not gonna believe this. But I was once in the back seat between my brother and my best friend and they did the same thing. <laughs> I thought you were driving. I don't know why I pointed at it, but I think that worked. It seems enough. God damn it. I gotta take a shit in my bed. Use it. Use the shit? There's a lot of pressure. I'm sure to have more pressure. Oh yeah, I could shit my pants. You need to keep the sensor shut. Oh boy. I think it's a free workout there. Yeah, you know it's good when you gotta take a shit right away. Right? Okay, one, two, three. God damn, that bar feels good. Look at that. Doug, Look at that. Doug, yeah. Jack's on Jim Duggan. I was 
drunk the day my mom got out of prison. Recording in the bathroom. It's disgusting. What's part of the video, Karen? Uh, okay, Mildred. Yeah, we had to take a break from filming. I'm in the bathroom now. Uh, okay. All right. I just left the bathroom. Let's start this uh, thing all over again, huh? Shall we? All right, Cam, I'm back. Yep, yeah, let's go. How's that go? Not too good. It all came out okay? Yeah, so far so good. What have you been doing? Watching uh, YouTube's. Getting uh, motivated? CT Flusher. Oh, that's good. Ah. All right. It's your power store. I don't know, man. Maybe I shouldn't have went in and take a shit. I don't want to smell your farts for the next hour. Yeah, but that comes with my power. Right? Like you said. Alright, take this again. Get in, let's go. One, two, three. It feels easier. It felt easier. I took a shit, it feels easier. You should fucking do that all the time, man. I felt light as fuck. Right? You ain't carrying on that shit. Right? Uh, I should have shit earlier, man. I think every day I'm gonna shit now. I don't know this coming up. Four weeks. Four weeks. Four weeks. Boot 527 bone. what? 527. Huffin Marvel Carol. Be the fucking craziest fucking boot at that joint. Yeah, you guys come to Cowboy Cam who is not on the internet. Calves will be there. Uh, the world's strongest dwarf, Jared. He's gonna be there all every day. Every day? Yep. He'll be working the booth. Uh, Billy Buck Roscoe's coming. He's gonna be there, I think, Saturday. Yeah. Some other special guests to be announced later. At a later date. He said he's coming over after he wins. Alright, just uh, double here. Alright, buddy. <laughs> Shoot, shoot. God damn, everything feels so light. I was so fucking drunk last night. I'm the strongest man ever. Go for it. Oh, I'm gonna
yourself out. <laughs> Throw me that Huckman Barbell hat. Uh. <laughs> okay. Me and Cowboy Cam just got done with another shoulder workout out here in the shed with our new barbell. Um, what else should I talk about, Cam? Well, Pats won the Super Bowl. Well, yeah, the Patriots won the Super Bowl. We got drunk as fuck. We drank till, well, I drank, I don't know about Cam, but I drank till 4 a.m. I uh, had a really rough night, but still had a hell of a fucking workout. I got uh, the Huckfin Barbell Apparel hats. You okay? Buy shirts. HuckfinBarbell.com. The Road Warrior Hawk haircut. Um, and uh, what else? You want to talk about Eight Man? Eight Man and the Arnold. In the Arnold. Arnold Booth 527 Huckfin Barbell Apparel. I will be there. Cowboy Cam will be there. Tom Callis, the high squatter, world record holder, will be there. Um, the world's strongest dwarf will be there. Uh, and uh, who's Karen. that? Karen. Karen's corner. She will be there. She'll be handling all the money. And Billy Buck Roscoe might be there Saturday. And more guests to follow. Booth 527. The Arnold. Four weeks away. We're growing my hair out for it. Uh, I want to talk about one more thing. The uh, Eight Man. Everybody keeps asking me, what happened? Are you still with 8-Man? Why are you no longer with 8-Man? Well, me and 8-Man are no longer together. We, uh, we parted ways. I have no... We're still good friends. No animosity. But I want to start my own company and make a lot more money. Which they understood. I told them I, I was still... I am 8-Man, so there's no way they could get rid of me. But they still said, we got to let you go. Uh, other than that, we're good buddies. Yeah, they're good guys. I still wear their shit all the time. I support 8-Man 100%. Fuck, I was with him for like three years. But Huffin Barbell Apparel, his, my time has come. And I had to grab the bull by the balls and fucking rip the motherfuckers off and go to town. So, stay tuned. More YouTube videos coming. We're going to try to do two, two times a week. So, subscribe. Drink beer. Fuck fear. Look at those tits over there. I don't know if you can see them. You got them? That's an old lady's tits from uh, Turkey Testicle Festival. Uh, let's get stupid. And uh, okay, bye. What a